Good afternoon, everybody. Well, happy Friday to you, and I hope you had a really good week and are looking forward to a nice, relaxing, long weekend. Just wanted to touch base with you. We had a very packed week with lots of information and lots of different things going on, and so wanted to just make sure that everybody understands what we were learning today, there are rather learning this week, and that um, there I can clear, make sure I clarify anything that maybe is misunderstood. So first thing I want to clarify or talk about is that this week we were talking about and learning about atoms and how atoms are the smallest piece or smallest particle of matter that you can get to and still retain all the properties of that matter. So we answered this question, what is an atom? We then went into a discussion about what are the three part subatomic particles, meaning what are the three particles that make up atoms, okay? And we learned that atoms are made up of protons, neutrons, and electrons. With that, we discussed the charge, the electrical charge that atoms have. And we talked about, we learned that Protons have a positive charge. We learned that neutrons have a neutral charge. And we learned that electrons have a negative charge. Notice that if you're having trouble remembering, you can remember protons are positive. Neutrons, neutrons are neutral. Notice that the two words start the same and sound the same at the beginning. Neutral neutrons. And electrons are negative, okay? Electrons are negative. We talked about where you can find all these particles and we learned that protons and neutrons are both found in the nucleus of the atom. We then learned that electrons are found in electron orbitals around the nucleus. Next week, we are going to be modeling atoms and we're gonna talk about how tiny atoms really are and get an idea for how they are, how they really are structured and how small they really are. But for now, this is what you should understand about the particles of an atom. Then we finished our week with a discussion and with understanding and learning about the periodic table and the information you can find on the periodic table. And we learned that there is a whole bunch of information, important information that can be found on the periodic table. We learned that the atomic number gives us the number of protons. So the atomic number tells us the number of protons. The atomic number is specific for every atom. And so if we change the atomic number, we've changed an ele the element and we've changed the number of protons. If we change the number of protons, we change the atomic number and therefore change the element. We also learned that the atomic weight or mass is equal to the protons plus the neutrons. So the atomic mass is the mass or weight of the nucleus. So the protons plus the neutrons gives us the atomic mass or the atomic weight. We, if we are trying to find out how many neutrons an atom has, we can take the atomic weight and subtract the protons or the atomic number, the number of protons, and we will find out how many neutrons. We also learned that the number of protons is also equal to the number of electrons in a neutral atom. Hopefully that helps clarify things. Um, if you're struggling, 
don't hesitate to get a hold of me. You can email me, you can send me a message and I will set up a Google Meet time. You can set up an appointment and come talk to me on a Friday. Um, but if you're struggling, please don't struggle alone. Come talk to me and let me know how I can help you. Have a great weekend and I will see you on Tuesday.